Welcome to my channel. I'm Tina. Um, the last tag library I want to introduce okay, is the formatting tag library, which you can use to format numbers, um, date, and uh, also actually you can use to format uh, the get internationalized message. But uh, I took a look at uh, how it works, which isn't that uh, nice because uh, for the source code, when we want to bind the key value pair for the internationalization, we use the uh, string array. We use array and inside of that we have uh, another array, which is a two dimension array and uh, can also use Java class to hold that. I, I feel that one is not as good as a spring uh, message. And uh, for the spring, me spring message tag, you can also use in any of the GSP non-spring MVC project, right? So I feel that one is better. And uh, for the formatting, it has uh, many. I will just uh, show you one or two because uh, too many scenarios and uh, some of the API, honestly speaking, I'm also not familiar with. I didn't use before uh, for the formatting, the entire formatting tag list I never used, okay? Uh, just uh, see some of the example and uh, if we need a letter, we can just uh, go to check the API, right? Here we have the like a uh, parse, a uh, pa, pa Pass, 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 pass. Number, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh my God. Ah, sorry. I have to go back. <laughs> That's another videos. Okay. Pass uh, numbers. You can use the pass string representation of a currency, uh, percentage or number. But I tried to pass, uh, pass, uh, uh, currency. It doesn't work for me. Instead, I can use a format number to actually parse a format a currency and a number, okay? You can also set a time zone, specify suppose for the currency for different country, we can specify different time zone, right? Then it will show different uh, uh, format based on the time zone we set, uh, uh, sorry, sorry, uh, locale, okay, we set. And uh, we have a parse date which is uh, you can have a string and you can specify what's a pattern of a string represent a date okay uh, for the bundle and uh, uh, which one set a bundle and message they can kind of like a pair you when you uh, use it for multi message you can ha you have to have a internationalized uh, message uh, um, like a group and you can use a bundle or set a bundle to refer them okay and you can also set a time zone, okay? And also you can use the format the date. But this one, this format date is a work with Java util date, okay? Uh, in Java, which which version? Uh, Java 7, if I remember correctly, Java 7, we already have a local date, and uh, which is mutable, okay? And also have a local date time, and also mutable. Uh, immutable sorry immutable these two are immutable this one is not okay and uh, when you use the format date if you're trying to format this one it doesn't work suppose uh, because the date will have a date and a timestamp and the local data time kind of like uh, have but it doesn't uh, work properly okay oh uh, my, my 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 test my test might be wrong okay but uh, when I saw an exception I can show you later uh, let's go to the code and show some of them, not all of them. I want to keep this video short. Okay. So in our GSP, I will create another uh, called uh, GSTL format. Format or tag, okay? And again, in the index.gsp, I will do is yes, uh, have another paragraph href and uh, gstl format okay and here is gstl form formatting tag library demo okay and for the formatting we will add the tag lib first right sorry 
<laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> we'll add the tag lib. Uh, the first one we'll add is I will add also the uh, C because I want to use the C set to set some values. Okay, cool. Okay. Next one I want to set is what? Tag lib, which is FMT format. Okay, this is a convention. You can use anything you want format. Okay. Now suppose I use a C set, C set, and uh, va va variable name is amount. Okay. And uh, value is suppose is five dot something like this. Okay. And now I will do is support we can use the format format par pass number and here of a uh, value is amount okay and uh, let's see let's take a look at um, okay now we go to the page okay sorry let's let's go to this here and here this is the home page click this one you are nothing okay this is considered as a number okay and then suppose I give integer only true then go and this one you only have an integer only okay but again uh, let's add another if I remember I forgot something it should work okay here and we give a type which is a number okay let's see okay number let's see if we have uh, some changes here Oh, still same. I was thinking it's gonna have you know remove these two. It only have two digit, but it doesn't happen. Okay, and now type here based on the API. They say to have a currency and a percentage. But when I try currency, this one doesn't work. And instead, we have to use a format number, not a pass number. See here. Okay, on on able to. That's a currency. So for this pass number. You can just use uh, for the type is a mem uh, number, okay? And the next one I want to show you is the uh, the other one is called the format number. Number, yeah, for format number, okay. Suppose now a value is still amount, okay? And the type, uh, sorry, this one type you can use the currency. Okay, and now let me show you. Go here, refresh. You will see it's a, uh, it's a U.S. dollar because our locale is uh, U.S. right. So here we can do is uh, here. Wait for a second. And uh, FMT set locale. Okay, and the value suppose uh, by default is EN US. Okay, this is the default one. And uh, suppose we use the Chinese. Okay, and now I will do is the format again. Okay, type copy this one again. Okay, and now comment. Oh, sorry, uh, re uh, update. And go here, refresh. You will see this is Chinese. Okay, this is uh, based on uh, in uh, US to format the currency. Okay, uh, this uh, you can work with them. I can take a look at the API, and there are lots of uh, varieties. Okay, and the last one, let's take a look at the uh, FM, which is the format date. Okay, and uh, oh, so uh, here we can do it has another one called a parse date. Okay, parse date which you suppose the var is uh, the day, and here the value is a string, okay, which is uh, uh, today is what day? 
Today is 16. Is it today, right? Okay, sorry. And uh, this is a string. And if you want to format this one to be a date. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. This one should be a C set. Sorry, okay. And now we have to format the date. And here we give value. Yes, value. Yes, today. This string, we want to convert the string to be a date. Okay. Now we give a pattern because uh, this pattern have to match this one, which is a DD, MM, Y, 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 Y. Okay. Now let's take a look at the value being uh, returned. This pattern is uh, match this one, okay? The date you set here. You formatted the date, okay? Which is uh, uh, the default behavior is past date. And the last one I want to show you is uh, uh, FMT dot format date. Okay, this one. Value, suppose we get uh, current date equals, which is uh, uh, which is uh, Java new date. Okay. Uh, suppose we use uh, local date time. Okay. Dot now. Okay. And now I will use the format. Sorry. Oh my God. Why I still always do like this one? Oh my gosh. <laughs> C set and var is. Uh, current now okay and now we will format and uh, fmt format which is uh, part uh, format date <sighs> okay format date value is now okay and here you can set like a type okay time zone scope data style time style suppose i said time is a time okay and now let's take a look at. Okay. Mm -hmm. And here, uh, refresh. You will see here cannot convert local data time to date. But here, if I change this one to use another one, C set var equals now. And the value is uh, what's the thing? Use uh, date, okay. Sorry, uh, equals new date. And uh, this one is a uh, Java UT dot date. Okay, Java UT dot date. That goes here. Okay, and now let's take a look at. Oh my God, <laughs> sorry. Uh, let's add a BR here. BR and add another BR here, okay? We so we will see a difference. Otherwise, we don't know which one is which one, right? Okay, now. So here, this is the current time. And this is Chinese. The reason is because here, I set a locale to be Chinese. now. If I set this one to be uh, EN US, it's gonna be United States. Okay. Now ready, let's uh, again. Okay, and now refresh your CPM. Okay, that's the thing. So uh, this is all the demos I'm trying to uh, like. Uh, talk about in this video um, there are many apis and if you need just check the api and use it okay uh, for format date the last comment i have is i i feel this format date is used for new date it's not for like a local the latest api so 
uh, but now when we have the latest version of the local date local date time we don't recommend to use the new date the date api because this one is to replace the local date right the java time local date and uh, local date time they are used to replace this one so in this case this kind of like uh, useless now okay anyway you may encounter some cases you need to use them and uh, if you run any cases just uh, google it <laughs> that's what i will do <laughs> okay uh, thank you for your time and uh, see you next time bye bye